welcome to walk to this game five new wolf thanks xbox one and i got something to show you guys and i also got stuff to talk about as well as other stuff to talk about but look at here we are close to getting the one on five on this thing which i am gonna just freak it because we are out of time for this and i won't be able to record actually i could easily record this and I'm a wolf at the same time but I wanted to do Fallout 3 and Imperion as well so I cannot do it at the same time which I still might do it anyway because I can so we'll just get the 105 and see what happens because it's probably a good investment to get the 105 now because for the simple reason of I want to use the 105 but I also want to show my first reactions to me using the 105 and only in the reason why I'm getting the 105 is to well let's just look at upgrade 3 all right I pack this the reason why I'm getting the 105 is to get this thing faster. Because, well, it's taking me forever to get that much experience with the 90 mil. And I don't even know how long it will take me to get that much experience with the 76, but... I don't know if I should have really helped me going to the, uh... Getting to that 100,000 experience. Alright, but that's not what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you this guy. All the way over here. The Jumbo. As you can see, I am... I am Ever so close to getting the package, I'm only off by eight. Positively, yes, five hundred or fifty-five thousand five hundred is what I need. I gotta hit more. So yeah, I kind of missed the mark, but hey, that's close enough for me. And plus, it's a good thing missing the mark is a good thing because it's always nice to see experience on your old vehicles. Uh, but anyway, let's grab it right now, right here. Let's get it now. At least that's acquired. This is how I got elite. This is how you get elite. Yep. And I did not. Did I even research the 105? I forget now. Uh, I don't think I even researched any of this. And I got it anyway. Oh, uh, that's this is why I have so much money. If you if you're wondering, this is why I have so much silver. It's because stuff costs a lot. After tier six, stuff costs a lot. But let's do it. We can always get more. We got thousands of premiums. They need a new crew, but we're not going. You're not going to give him a crew as he does not need a crew. He can just walk out. And if I and if I want to put if I want to put a new crew in it, I can just I can just put a new crew in it. I mean, like uh, you, like you, like you may know, I don't use crew in this game. I only do it in wolf lanes and uh, actually I only do it in wolf warships. Yes, T twenty. It is fireworks. I mean sparks. Let's open the door. Let's do this. I have been waiting to get this for a long, long, long time. I've been meaning to get this guy ever since I got the T twenty the T twenty nine. I've been meaning to get that. I just haven't gotten it. Um, uh, for the main reason of I was having so much fun with the T29 and trying to get the, and trying to get the Jackson and then getting the, uh, T25 after the Jackson. I just never got around to going back to the Jumbo and doing the T20, which is the same thing that happened with, uh, my excursions to get the EZ8, as I never went back to the M4 to get the EZ8 because I was having so much fun with the Jumbo. Uh, and then that's the reason why I never got the, uh, T1 Heavy is because I was having so much fun in the M4, I just never wanted to go back to the Lee. But, as you can see, I'm close to it anyway. Actually, I can show you here. Uh, as you can see, I'm... I can just... It's close. I just haven't played the lead a lot. Like like I should have. Uh, but anyway, so there's the Jumbo. We will be returning to the Jumbo every now and then. Because the Jumbo, I love it. I love it. I don't love it as much as that guy. But I, like, but I love the Jumbo. It's, it is a nice tank. I mean, it's the it's the only Sherman that really feels like a tank. You know, having a condition the tank, having armor, being sluggish. Having a big gun, although... All, although I'm using 76, which all of the Shermans can get except for the E2. But anyway, I just, uh, I just like, I just like to feel this guy. It just feels like a tank. The M4 is not that bad, but it is kind of, it, it's not that bad, but it's not very tanky. That's tanky because it just bounces everything, but it just doesn't have a big gun. And then the Z8, or the Fear in this case, uh, it just has a gun. All right, but anyway, enough delay. Let's take a look at the T20. And let's take a look at the C23. Yeah. I mean, this thing looks all beat up and stuff. Well, this 
Still looks beat up, but not as much. I mean, and remember, the T23 on the PC, anyway, was originally supposed to be where the Pershing sits at Tier 8. Uh, but then they decided that the Pershing sits the T23, and then they made the T23 a, a rare tank. A rare premium. But, yeah. Let's do this. Let's go in blind, because I never researched this tank. I never, I didn't look at the stats or anything. Let's go blind. Let's go do this blind. Let's just go in. Uh, we've been talking for five minutes, or... Almost six minutes. I don't know. Let's actually get into the game. Uh, I've been waiting for this uh, so long. Now I can actually get started on the medium tree. Yay! I never get to the medium tree until right now. Because the, 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 I, mean, there, I guess you can call the tree that leads up to the heavy and medium trees the medium tree. Because they're all mediums. Pro Nofka Standard Battle. But I just like to. I like to call the medium tree the one that it stuck to the T20 and into the and into the pens. I like to call that the medium tree, and then below that is the heavy tree, and before that it's just like the American medium heavy tree or branch, I should say. I don't know why I keep saying tree instead of branch, or yeah, that's exactly what I meant to say. Yeah. Alright, I mean, if I do, if I were to expect anything, I'll expect it performs uh, very similar to the T23. Because the T23 is a premium tank, it is an up, it is the later down the line tank, uh, when compared to the T20, when really compared to the T20, so, we should see, and it's also a premium tank, so it's upgrades that the T20 does not right now. There, right, let's do this. Uh, Pronovka, not my one of my better maps. Well, we can make it. Ma we can manage. Wait, we're going up against Lays. That means we're top tier. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be. This is gonna be interesting. All right. E20. Let's see its acceleration. Good acceleration. Gets to uh, 20 kmh. Not that bad. I get hell traverse. Come out. Oh my word! Hell traverse is downright amazing. For medium take anyway. Alrighty. You gotta get you some cover here. Now this gun. Now let's take the first person. Oh, we just our gun sticks out so much that we can barely see the first person, but oh well. Oh look, say. You know what, now that I think about it, I don't really see T20s a lot. I mean, I kind of have been recently, but not until recently I've been seeing T20s. I mean, yeah, the T20 enemy team, but still. That's kind of rare. Because it's not really beloved like the Pershings are. I mean, when you think of the US medium, uh, medium branch, you don't usually think of the T20. You think of like, the Pershing. And, um... The pans. If you think about the medium line at all, which I don't really have people think, which I don't know about people, I don't know people that actually think about the medium line. All these guys. Hey, it's a cover. Only the tree that'd be bad for my stealth. My teammates moving up. I get big bolts on this guy. If we get. If I see the we get spotted thing, I'm gonna run so fast. Oh, hello, Lux. I think he's as scared as me. Is why am I why am I scared of Lux? He's a tier four light. To, oh, that's one scared of Lux because he has friends. Eh, uh, I didn't die. That's a good thing. Yeah, turn moving forward. I was getting greedy. I should have got greedy. All right, let's take a look at this heavy tank that's on the hill. Oh, T1 here. Oh, this is gonna be hilarious. I wonder if he can penetrate me. I wonder if I can penetrate him. I don't know. Oh, that's a whole lot of yes on both sides. What am I trying to 
tube. I'm in a dumb medium tank. I'm in an American medium tank. I'm not, you know, I, I'm not in a heavy tank like I am with the D-29. I must remember that. I must remember that. Oh, let's get one S. That's the problem. I, I can't really find a spot. Gotcha. How did that already miss? Gunner, what, what are you doing? Your, gunner, do your job and don't miss your shot. Oh, that was just awful. I mean, again, I'm not that good at this map. Or at least I'm not that good going this way on this map. I'm usually a fan of the left side of the map. Uh, and I just don't know this tank at all. I never researched it. I never looked at it. No one ever uses the bloody thing. So I, was, I just didn't know. So yeah, that was unfortunate, but uh, at least we deal damage. I know we need to see this package, see what this package is like. Yeah, that was on. That was unfortunate. Right on. I don't know why my team didn't really move up there. We had plenty of space to move up. They weren't moving up at all, so I wonder why my team was just sitting back there. I mean, I guess that's a better. That might be a better defendable. Uh, that might be a better defendable area, but. Overall, they should have moved up with me. Same problem I have with Armored Warfare people, because in Armored Warfare, you need to move up in order to take, you need to like take half the map in order to actually win a game most of the time. And people just like to sit back and camp most of the time. It's just, ah. Uh, I mean, we, we had plenty of space to, I mean, I guess either that place is really good cover or it's just they didn't want to move up for whatever reason. So yeah, I mean, if you see a guy move all the way up and if he's and if he's not encountering anything, and if he just stops there and starts taking up cover, you probably should go up with them and help him out in case they do come. So yeah, all right, but anyway, let's get these free XP's. Ah, that's not bad. Yeah, that's me, bit. Yes, the 105. Hey, I'll pay the price. There you go, the 105. Comes with a new turret. And how expensive are these shells? That's what I'm wondering. I, I mean, I hear on PC they're expensive, but I don't know how expensive they are on the Xbox because they're hard to find an actual name. Hmm, doesn't say. Alright, let's use it. Let's roll out. Now the 105 is capable of doing stuff against uh, tier 10s, so yeah, a aloof rain, standard battle. Yeah, but I just, I just keep thinking about the T20 matches. I mean, if I would have, if I would have, I should have went right, I guess. Because I just, I'm just not good at that map going that side. I can, it's doable because you saw I did okay, but still. I mean, I guess what really happened that time is I just didn't know. Uh, I just didn't know the guys in the hill could see me and or shoot at me. Because I'm just not used to that side of the map. All right. Just look at the size of this gun. I mean, it's not. I mean, okay, maybe it's almost as outlandish as the 120 is on the T-34, but still, it's pretty big. I mean, it's only, it's 20 millimeters smaller, and it's on a tier 8. Alright, well, let's head left. Look at the, look at the bloody, uh, turret reverse on this thing. And remember, this is a heavy tank. So I guess never rush a uh, T20 with the upgraded turret, because you will not win. I mean, you just, you can keep playing at it until it runs out of ammo, but it will probably always get a shot on you. I'm saying if you're like in a medium and maybe sl and maybe some smaller, slower uh, light tanks, but yeah. Ultra Burst is amazing. I mean, not Ultra Burst, actually. Is Ultra Burst amazing? Yeah, it is now. I mean, remember, I come, I'm coming from... A basically stock T29. I never got the upgraded turret, never got the upgraded engine. 
now I have it, and it's pretty awesome. I think this cruiser, this is cruises at, uh, like, 32. Are we up against, yeah, we're top tier. That's nice. I mean, you're just going to wreck their face. I mean, my look with uh, Wolf Tank's matchmaking is I'm usually top tier or me medium tier. I'm never low tier. Unless, so unless only some of the time. Yeah, no. Uh, I, yeah, I think we should move up and try to take as much line as possible. Because remember, with this new map layout, we don't need to hold back anymore. Um, yeah, they got two tank destroyers as well as two heavies reinforcing. Let's reinforce these heavies. Who is that? An IS-2. They should be a leader. Oh, look at the gun in first person. There is. Ah, oh, I think, yeah, it hit this front, but, uh, can you get the red star? Oh, we can use the turret. And this is the reload. This is probably the one of the five, and why I don't use howitzers all that much is because the reload times are ridiculous. But for the plink mine, you split it, not shoot them and do tons of damage and then wait. Oh, Churchill. Ah, there you go. No! I was aiming, guy! Oh, just fire. There you go. There you go. That's the money. Yes. 300. Dude, 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 don't. Dude. There yeah, they go. It, this guy that's behind me should go to the left side. Because that, that is based. You're my spot. Maybe. Uh, but yeah, I like the 105. <laughs> I don't like the reload, but I like the 105. Yeah, just getting owned. Okay, get more targets. Don't worry about the guys on the right. All of our team went. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm just not seeing my uh, team because of radio range. Um, think. Yeah, these guys just like jockeying for position. They don't like to share. I mean, oh, we don't even carry that many rounds either. I mean, we're carrying a lot of HE, which we do not need. I don't think we need it anyway. Um, oh, he escaped, but let's use our oh, to traverse to our advantage. Um, the hacks. The, um, the one off I bounced off of a light tank. I mean, shoot angle is insane, but seriously. Come on. That's the one out of five. There's nothing for everything. Oh, we got. Ooh, that guy's a problem. That guy's a problem. Oh, he's going to get on in two seconds. Yeah. Yeah, these guys just go up and kill things. They don't wait around. Yeah, these guys just don't like sharing. Hello. Big shot. Find us 29. Is he even looking this way? No, he's not. Is he even in the game? Oh, the star, yeah. He's not even in the game. I just get, let's keep typing this guy. It's Fred game. It's Fred unless you shot high. Uh, I need to check the stats for. I swear the 105 actually had actual penetration. Yeah, we didn't get that much more experience. Actually, we probably did comparatively to our shots. I only shot, I only got hits, um, I only got two damage ribbons, and we dealt 640 damage. With the 90 mil, I would have only done like half of that. So, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, I, do what, I do way more damage so I can get more experience. Yeah, but let's take a look at D105. I'll take a look at this penetration. It should be it should be amazing, but 
Or it should be good enough. It's not normal Howard, so yeah, 198, that's not good, is it? Actually, yes, it is good. I just was getting unlucky with my shots. And again, I just decided to hit parts of the vehicle where they just bounced. All right, but let's take the look. But, but let's see the T20. Am I, yeah, I guess it's just my shots were hitting at hitting their armor at, at insane angles. Uh, I mean, that's why they're, that's like the only reason I can think of why they were bouncing is they were just, like, their armor was angled at insane angles. Even though I was shooting the top of the tank, uh, like the um, little Frenchie that decided to rush us, uh, that hit the top of his front armor. But, since it hit the top of his front armor, it was at such an angle that my shot just bounced off. So, yeah. Alright, once I get used to it, I get used to it. Oh, and you see the, uh, yeah, once it gets out of battle, and you see it's, uh, how much, how much money it's rounds cost. Why park rain in counter battle? Encounter, eh? Alright, I prefer standard on this. I prefer standard overall, but this should work. Alrighty. I don't know why it's long since they're taking so long now. They weren't earlier. Wow, these are... Uh, so I do apologize for being quiet. I'm not meaning to. It's just I would think these loading screens would take half the time they actually are. Hmm. There we go. Are we going to we're probably going to join in late. Let's go. We kind of have, yeah. All right, we're going. I do not know this map on encounter at all. Never played it. Tories are we got spun we got spun at Tories already? Man, what is he doing? Where twenty nine is from? Enemy like friends, that's even over from because we cannot penetrate him at all. I don't think. Actually, no. The black prince is what rank? Yeah, oh yeah, it's tier seven. Or no, it's tier eight. We're tier seven. Oh no, wait. It's we're both tier seven, right? A medium. Oops. I didn't mean to shoot you, my friend. I'm sorry. Oh, Black Prince is showing his side. Oh, you're going to get... I'm going to take advantage of this. If I'm going to actually hit him. That's not... Oh, yeah, we're not doing anything to him. The tiger. Oh, what? So much brush, I can't really see through it. Oh, is that French chassis? It is. No longer. I think I was, the problem with shooting through foliage and wolf tanks and really any tank game is the fact that you can't see where the shots land. Don't know how your gunner missed or don't know how you missed for that matter. Stuart, what, what map what are we going up against? Tier 3s. I'm in the tier 7. I never got this bad matches. Well, I never got this good matches. And I'm a, even in Armored Warfare. And I, never in Wolf Tanks. Never. There we go. Oh. And they got already a man, but not our driver. Driver is what we need, and we're running out of dudes over here. Well, we are on the flag, and they're putting all their effort into this area right here. We get moving. Oh, we got no cover. We got absolutely no cover. Yeah. I should have just stayed there and shot, but again, I don't know this map all that. I don't know encounter on this map, and I never, I never really went over here before, so I never knew this area as well. So I didn't know where to go uh, when they were coming through the tunnel. I guess I just, I guess I should have just sat there and shot them, but oh well. 
Right, I think we have a match. I think we have time for just one more match. And that match is in the C29. It's 105. Yep, let's do this. Wait, nah, I want to look at the price of the rounds, but we, well, we can do that after the match. Oh, Ellenberg Assault, all right. I don't know if we're assaulting or we're defending. Because remember, Ellenberg Assault basically, me uh, well, assault anyways, just means one flag. And not neutral flag, a flag on Sultan's base. And the goal of the people that spawn with the flag is to defend the flag at all costs. And just prevent the enemy from capping it. Or just you know, or just make sure the enemy doesn't cap it at all. Like like if they go on a last tank hunt, just allow them to do that and just run away. It works because time could run out and uh, that's it. Um like they can't get the flag. If they're not focusing on it. So yeah. If you're attacking, you have no choice but to attack the attackers. Just remember to always just remember if Instead of going um, last man standing hunting, just capture the flag. So yeah. No, it's taking so long to get matches. It wasn't earlier, but then again, uh, when I started my Xbox to record, for whatever reason, it told me to. Re I wasn't talking to you. Stop listening. Um, but when I started. It to record. Uh, it said that I couldn't. Con it said that I wasn't connecting to the internet, so I checked the network connection, thinking of why in the world is not connecting to the internet. And I found out that for whatever reason, either some router or some router. Our uh, weapons to ten. Snow weapons to nine. Okay. Uh, um, tortoise. You do realize we are playing assault, All right? Oh, we're defending. Okay, I never. Okay, I thought we, okay, I thought we spawned down there. Never mind. Or she's doing your job great, great, good. All right. All right. I for some reason thought we spawned in the bottom of the map. I'm going on the inside next to the river. Uh, what was I saying before I interrupted myself? Actually, I don't remember. Actually, well, yeah, we need to go inside. B fifty, not B fifty four. No chance. I um, mean, it's a bad idea. Never. I, again, I. Are we on the bottom or not? Oh yeah, we definitely on the top. I just keep thinking we're on the bottom. B fifty four. We need to find this house. Oh yes, friends. Lucky shot. I have plenty of cover on their back. I think. What is that? An Ulfa Trigger E100 or the E100? Or not the E100. AM okay, AMX. That works. Okay, fine. I thought he was. Uh, I thought it was a Death Star or his friends. Good job, Gunner. Oh, I can really wreck me. No, that's the river. That's the river. That's the river. That's the bloody river. I'm in the river. I thought the river was flat. I thought it was just gonna come and get out of the water, just enough to breathe. Get the gun out of the water. I mean, like it matters. That was unfortunate. Wow, that was... I never had that happen to me before. I... Yes, I thought the river was, like, right there, where it's just concrete straight down. I didn't think it was sloped at any point. Okay, I'm just learning new stuff about these maps today. Uh, well, that would that would that plan would have worked well if I didn't fall into the river. Sorry, my throat got really dry. So dry, in fact, that I coughed. 
All right. Not gonna do better on that mission. Uh, give me a second. Okay, better. All right. Yeah, sorry about that. My voice was really hoarse. In case you couldn't tell. Well, this is actually not a lot of XP to unlock. None of this is. And we got, like, 600, was it? 600 XP? Yeah. Oh, wait, no, we got 324. And that was a, um... Maybe we could have done better in. And what gun are we using right now? Um... Oh, 76, alright. And we can get, then we can get a 90 mil. Now this may be a good time to use free XP to get the 90 mil as soon as possible, so we can, uh, well, get the 90 mil as soon as possible, so we can actually deal damage to stuff. Because we're in tier 7, and we still, and we're still using 76. Sure, it works enough. I mean, this is a medium tank. I mean, even the T29 76 can get the job done. It's just, it's better to have the 90 mil, because it's just so much better. The 105. Is it the same 105 as on the? Uh, no, it, no, it's not. It's just the 105, like on a, Sh like on the uh, Sherman, not the 105 on the uh, T29. All right, but yeah, this is what I'm gonna be doing. Is I'm gonna be doing that, then that, then that, then that. Uh, that's what I'm gonna get, and that's what I'm gonna do. And from the Pershing, I will get. Uh, and then from the Pershing, uh, from the Pershing, it depends. Okay. All right, this shouldn't take off too long. I mean, heavy things are what? The heavy things are expensive. So are the tank destroyers. Well, starting with the T ninety five. I feel like the T tank destroyers are kind of cheap, but and the mediums are kind of are cheap. Uh, but the heavy things are more expensive. So I'll probably just kind of breeze through the mediums, maybe, because they are kind of cheap compared to the heavy tank, which I've been having lots of. I mean, it's just with the T twenty nine is the fact that it starts with a seventy six. And then you get a 90 mil, which is off track, and then you have to get back on track uh, to get the 105, and then you might want to get the 105 instead of getting the... Actually, no, you get the uh, package before the 105, and then you can go right directly to to, to the T-34, or to the T-32. But it, it's really difficult being the fact that the 90 mil is not heavy things gun. It gets the job done, but it's not heavy things gun. And speaking of a heavy things gun, how is the, uh, how is the ammo on it? 10,000, that's not bad. Uh, it doesn't say how much, but it's not that bad. Alright. Oh, by the way, uh, this coming Saturday, I meant to say this at the beginning of the video, but I never got a chance to. This coming Saturday, which is also known as the 15th of August 2015, will be, um, will be either, either War Games or Wolf Tanks, no, definitely, probably Wolf Tanks have your anniversary. I am going to double check real quick and then I'll, um, tell ya. No, it is War Gaming, yeah, it is War Gaming's, uh, 17th anniversary, uh, coming up on the 15th and that day and that day alone uh, you can get five times experience for your first victory of a tank which means you see this has two times experience in the bottom left corner of its image I'll be here five times so yeah for your first victory which is pretty awesome uh, which that should help you that, would, that should help you logging to the lower tiers even the higher tiers oh that's our battle so, yeah. I mean, I think, like, one ammunition is, like, 1,000, which is not terrible. It could be better. I can easily make, I can easily get, and if I can easily get all the ammo I use in the match by just, uh, uh by using a, uh, tier 1, or even using a tier 2 or 3, uh, premium. So, yeah, that's not that bad. Uh, 
I thought it was going to be a lot worse. So I might just use this gun all, all the time unless I really want to use the for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, and also that day they are, um... Oh yeah, also that day, which is the real important thing, is all tier 8 premiums will be at a discount. That means you, that means the Super Pershing, that means the T-34. Oh, I can't scroll down like that anymore, alright. That means the IS-6. And the, and the Lova, and the Strind, the Jag, Tango, the, Jag, the Jag Tiger 88, all discounted, only on the 15th, and you don't have one, do you? Your brain doesn't have one. The, and what I'm probably going to get, because that seems like a good deal, is the FC, FCM 50T, that'll be discounted. Well, it's a good deal. No, the reason why it's a good deal because F the FCM 50T is is the most expensive tier eight. For whatever reason, it's the most expensive one, and it'll be at a discount, which makes it price much like a T34 or anything like that. So that's pretty awesome. So if you're looking to get so if you're looking to get a tier eight, because you really should, because they're pretty awesome. Um, and the 15th is probably the do it. Honestly, of course, you were you like even packages and. Well, unfortunately, I think it's just, I think that just, I think this gun just applies to tech tree vehicles. It could mean that they're actually selling them in, in the, they, they could mean, uh, they could mean they're actually selling it in the store at discounted prices and packages, but I don't think they are. I think they're just this kind of tech tree, like, uh, like how I got my Atlanta in the, uh, World War ships, uh, closed beta is where it is they had special time where they discounted cruisers and I got this kind of pricing gold in tech tree. Alright, but anyway, so, um, yeah, so, uh, if you, you know, if you, uh, been wanting to get a tier 8 premium, I guess the 15th's the time. Alright, but anyway, so, um, thanks for watching. I really hope you guys are watching on this video, you not to be. You can watch me, not to be, if you leave a comment, tell me what you liked, tell me what you like, to, tell me what you like, to, tell me what you like to be interested in some series, like what, uh, vehicles, you want you, you want to see next or in that I'll play. Well, well, thanks Xbox One in general. If you're not up to this, comment to do a little bit. Do a little bit. And I guess, see you in a second.